Okay, today we are building a fresh WordPress website from our WordPress dashboard. If you have not yet installed WordPress, check out my video on how to install WordPress. But uh, from our dashboard, all we need to do is go to appearance and themes. And the theme we want to use is called Astra. So let's hit add new. And we want to search for Astra. And then all we do is hit install and wait a minute for that to install. And once it's installed, just hit activate. And then hit get started. It'll start activating. And the thing with Astra is it's free and it also comes with some free starter sites. So uh, let's just wait for that to activate. And now we just have to select our page builder. So for this case, we want to use the Elementor page builder. It's a great free page builder. Hit next. And here now we have our Astra starter sites. So let's hit free and see what the free options are. So we now have 40 free Astra sites to choose from. And I think for this case, we're going to use our outdoor starter site. So click outdoor and hit import site and just wait a minute for this to install. Okay, and once it's finished installing, all we have to do is click done, view site. And there we go, there is our starter site. All we have to do from here is hit edit with Elementor. And this will load up the Elementor page builder. So from the Elementor page builder, we just want to start changing the text. We can change this to, uh, the title can be Australia Travel. And we could just say Explore Australia. And we're going to want to change our images. So we need to find a few images of Australia. So easy way to do that. Head over to pexels.com, search for Australia. And from here we can download all these beautiful free images. So you just click anything you like, uh, download them large size, hit download. And we'll have, uh, we need about 10 to start with. Let's go back to Elementor and click on the section we want to edit. That's the blue tab and click style. We can see the background image there. Just hit delete and let's click add a new image. So all we have to do is drop the files anywhere to upload them. I've got the photos that I downloaded right here. Just drop them in and away they go. We just have to wait a, a few seconds for these guys to upload. But I've gone ahead and got some photos of Australia. We've got a few kangaroos, a few pictures of Sydney Harbour, a nice pool and a lighthouse. Um, and we just want to choose one for our heading. So this one looks nice. Let's go ahead. There we go. Um, we can change this button, learn more. And uh, we can link it to anything we like. So we could link it to another um, page on our site. Um, we can customize this quote to any quote we like. So we could have a, a quote about Australia there. Um, these pictures are pretty easy to change. Just again, we just click on them and delete, add something from our library. So let's get the pool and let's again, let's, uh, this one, delete the hiking one, add in a picture of Australia. And we just keep repeating this. Now we've got another nice background image. Hit edit section and style. In this case, we have got a, a gray background and a background overlay. And our image is actually the background overlay. I'll show you why it's like that in a second. So just delete that one and let's choose another nice Australian image. There we go. And let's go back to our background. They've chosen a gray background, so let's hit that and let's change it to a black one. And let's change our opacity or transparency. Let's change our transparency to fully black. Let's hit update. That'll update and save all the things we've done so far. And 
if we go to our overlay, we can now see if we move it to number one, it's fully transparent. If we go back to zero, it's fully black. That's our black background. So this works really well for changing the background and getting it so we can see our white text. So you can see that the text sort of blends into the background there. It doesn't look very readable. So we want to change it, make it darker and get it, get it so it's nice and readable. And when we're happy with that, we just hit update. So that looks pretty good. We've just got a few skiing photos here. We can change those, get some kangaroos maybe. There we go. Let's get a beach. Another nice kangaroo. And let's put, uh, maybe feeding the kangaroo. There we go. And hit update. You can change the text pretty easily. Just click. The nice thing about Elementor is we can do it all visually. Um, write whatever you like. And any of these headings you can customize. And that wraps up our text and image method. The next thing we want to do is just head back to our WordPress dashboard. We can always get back to our dashboard just by going to our site page and putting this wp-admin at the end of our URL. Click on appearance and we're going to customize our headers and footers. So just this is our theme customizer. It will let us change our theme settings such as the, uh, the title. I've set that as travel blog. Um, and we want to change the tagline to maybe just travel in Australia. Any changes, just hit publish and that'll make your changes saved. And let's go back and let's change our header and our footer. So we want to go to layout, header, um, primary header. And this has got our, the last action in the last item on the menu here is our button. We can change the button to say a search icon. That'll let users search the website. We can hit publish. And the other thing we'd like to change is the, the menu here. So we can hit menu and add items. So we don't actually want all these things. Um, we don't need the projects page and we don't need the services page. We want to keep things simple for the demo. So we're just going to have a home page, an about page, a blog page, and a contact page. Hit publish. Let's go back again and we will go to layer and footer and the footer bar. We can change the custom text in here. Um, so let's just call it our Australia travel blog and you can put a phone number or an email or we can just delete the things we don't like and we can change the copyright to our own website's name and hit publish. There we go. And now we can just go back to our homepage and we can see all the changes that we've made. So we've made a new uh, heading and we've made a new title and we have deleted some of the items in the menu and we have our new images all nicely set up and our footer is now Australia Travel Blog. So now to customize our other pages it's exactly the same process. Just go to the page we want to customize. So for example, we're going to hit about hit edit with Elementor. And from here, Elementor will load up and we can choose our style and let's choose our background image again. We got our nice image and let's just choose about about traveling Australia. Hit update. 
exactly the same process again. Uh, change the images and text, and that's all there is to it, really. So from here, we can hit the hamburger menu, and we can always just view our page, or we can go back to our dashboard. So let's view the page. That'll load up here. We've got our new background, our new heading. Go back to our home. Um, it's already looking pretty decent. Now, editing our contact page is a little bit different. I'll show you what I mean. Our contact page is similar to the other pages, but we've got a form that users can fill out and that will send us an email when they uh, want to contact us. So let's go to our dashboard. The contact form is actually powered by a plugin called WP Forms. So let's click that. We just have to set up the form settings. So click edit and click settings and notifications. So by default, the email will send to your admin email. You can customize that how you like, or you can leave it as the admin email if you're happy with that, or you could just change it to uh, anything, anything you want. And the from email, it's very important to set this up properly. So um, it always needs to come from the exact domain that you've installed under. So make sure that matches your website. And you could call it any, it doesn't really matter what the actual email address is. I'll just call it contact form at uh, travel blog. But just make sure this section matches your website. And then when you're done, hit save. Okay, so that wraps up setting up our um, contact form. We can just go back and check out our website. Um, the last thing is setting up the blog. Let's click on blog. Now, this is the only thing we can't edit with the free version of Elementor. We have to use the default WordPress editor. So just click edit. And this will show us our blog layout. Um, the only thing we really want to change on this is the background image. So just click on the section, click on background, and let's replace the image. And just choose whichever image we like. And we'll just call it... Uh, the Travel Australia blog. And when we're done, just hit update. By default, our, uh, our first post will be shown there, and then we'll have our next posts there. Um, I kind of just like having the grid by itself, so we can just go ahead and delete this section. Um, this little icon here will give us options and you can remove the block there. And that'll just give us a heading and a nice list of blog posts. Just hit update. The next step will be to edit the posts. So by default, we've got all these, uh, all these demo posts that are, have been installed. So we can just go bulk actions and just uh, we can trash all of them. And hit apply. There we go. All the posts are gone. So now let's just make a new post. Just click add new. And from here, let's just make a, a test post. And you can just type, type anything you would like to blog about. It's nice. It's got a little spell checker here. And the thing we want to change is the feature image. It's really important to give all your posts a nice feature image. And you can write something in the excerpt or you can leave it blank. If you leave it blank, it'll just take your first paragraph as your excerpt. And then that's all there is. Just hit publish. And now it's live. We can look at the post. Just click view. And here we go. Now. We have to customize the look of this layout. So let's go back to edit post. I don't really want this sidebar and I don't really like these breadcrumbs. So let's hit edit. Okay, I wanted to get rid of the sidebar. So change the sidebar to no sidebar and hit update. Um, 
the actual content layer is in the customizer settings. So let's go to appearance and customize. And we want to get rid of those, uh, those little breadcrumbs that were on the top of the post. So let's go layout and blog and single post. We want to get rid of these uh, single post meta. Let's have a look. We can actually see how it works live. So let's get rid of the comments. That will get rid of that and get rid of the category and get rid of the author and hit publish. There we go. We just can close that out. And we can view the posts. And it's nice and clean now. We've just got our test post, our featured image, and a little bit of the paragraph we wrote, and that's all we need. If we wanted to make a new post, exactly the same process, just hit new post. And we'll go back to our, make another one. Let's make the second post. And just anything you like to blog about. Go back to the document settings, set a featured image. Always set a featured image so it looks nice in your um, main blog area. And remember to, let's get rid of the sidebar, no sidebar. Hit publish, hit publish again, and we can view the second post here. There we go. Nice and clean. It doesn't have those breadcrumbs anymore because that's been removed from our customizer and that is all there is to it. Let's have a look at our blog and the second post shows up right here. So they're going to show up in chronological order. Every time we make a new one, it's going to go to the front. Um, so that's all there is to it. We've got a homepage, we've got um, an about and a blog and a contact form, and you've got a functional website. So that wraps it up. You can see using Astro with Elementor, you can get a website up and running really, really quickly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.